allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Make it to Matt, please. Roll call. Uh, Wyatt? Here. Ingle? Here. Reister? Here. Buns? President? Savelle? Here. And I have a motion to approve the agenda with that first public hearing removed because it's been canceled. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Uh, consent agenda, anything to be removed? Uh, motion to approve. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, mayor's comments. Uh, I do want to make a public uh, thanks to the Public Works group staff for what they've been doing over the month that I've been gone. Those poor guys. Uh, and also public safety for continuing to be around and no matter what the, uh, the issue is. Uh, fire department, ambulance, struggling with anything they got to struggle with. Did you guys get involved with Down South when they had all the uh, the cars tucked in there? Last night? Uh, Ola Capon was coming. She's off? No, no. I haven't heard her anything. Okay. Uh, Public Works Committee, February 13th. Scott, you got that one? Yep, I do. Uh, we met uh, 7 a.m., um, discussed uh, repair on the lift station in Butterfield, and discussed uh, bank stabilization on Blackhawk Creek by the diffuser, as well as um, a project that will require us to maintain a traffic light just south of uh, highway 20 or 22, whatever that is there. We understand. 20. 20. And we have <coughs> uh, 712. Thanks, Scott. Any questions for Scott? Quick. Quick. Thanks. Uh, public hearing. Uh, open the public hearing uh, for the annual budget for fiscal year ending June 30th, 2020. Uh, Chrissy, any written comments? No. Nope. Any oral comments? I'll close the public hearing. Uh, General Government, Hudson City Council maintains the right to waive the first and second reading of the ordinances presented and may pass the third and final reading of the same ordinance within the same council meeting. Item A, discussion action to approve resolution 2461, a resolution adopting the annual budget for the fiscal year ending June 30th, 2020. I forgot these are resolutions, not ordinances, so we didn't have to read all that. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> so you'll, get, you'll get back into it eventually. So moved. Second. Discussion. <clears throat> this is on 2461. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, one of the questions I had was, uh, we're transferring stuff like from, for example, the road use tax fund to the general fund. Mm -hmm. I thought, and obviously this could be wrong, but I thought we were supposed to just spend straight out of those funds rather than transfer. Is, is that true? You, yeah, you can do either way. But the auditor wants it kind of this way for their tracking mechanism. Yes, and it's easier to track by just transferring because otherwise if you say that you have a big project and you don't have enough money in your road use tax, well, that puts it in a negative and they don't really like it. So it's just easier for me. Because the general fund's got the surplus and the yeah. reserves and everything in yeah. there from a positive perspective. Yes. Yeah. It doesn't, rest, doesn't restrict us from then accessing those funds for road right. use. Right. You can just... You pull them back out and put them in too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions? Uh, roll call. All right. Uh, Buns? Aye. Engel? Aye. Stabell? Aye. Wyatt? Aye. Reister? Aye. Uh, five zero. Uh, item B, discussion action to approve resolution 2462, resolution setting a public hearing to add chapter 101 electric utility the City of Hudson Board of Ordinances before I asked for a motion to approve that public hearing. Uh, Jeff wanted to uh, talk a little bit explaining some of the, uh, the logic behind what they're doing. Right, it's going to be under 6-7-09 permanent electrical service dash residential slash commercial until such time as Board of Trustees can enact new or different rules the city utility will install underground electric distribution system to residences only. If any new housing developments that require new electric service to that area, this is what got added. 
will be put on hold until HMEU can investigate options to offset costs and paybacks for future developments for all the subjects of the following. And when Jeff's talking about 6.07, it's our 101.15 because Chrissy had to renumber them to match in our ordinance sites. Right. But his your draft, the original, what was approved by HMEU forwarding to us considerations under that 607. 609. Okay. 609. Part of the thought process behind this is for the last edition for Tom Peterson's second edition, there was 26 lots. Um, the, the, the agreement we have now is we go out and have an engineer tell us what it's going to cost to put that in. We go out and get bids. For this conversation, the bid was $86,000. <coughs> so Tom Peterson and his partners for the development loan HMEU $86,000. We hire a contractor to go install that for $86,000. So physically, the pot is broke then. He lends me the money, I pay the money, I have no money left. Okay. Part of the agreement is Every time a lot is sold, then he gets a percentage of that back. And for the conversation, there's 26 lots. So every lot that he sells, and we get an electrical hookup to it, we pay him back 126. Of 86,000. Of 86,000. Okay. So that roughly comes down to 3,307 dollars per lot. Okay. And the contract we've got, it's a five-year tenure. Part of the agreement is five years. If all lots are sold in five years then he gets all his money back. If the contract's 10 years, and if he doesn't sell them all in 10 years, at that 10, whatever that date is, whatever's not sold, he will not get paid back. So the goal is to get them all sold as quick as he can to make, get the housing up there to make everything work. At the present rate that we're charging for electric, we make no money on the electric up there at all. None. Not a tenth of a cent. We make nothing. So $86,000 basically comes out of our reserves, and the only way that we can offset part of that is the service charge for $10 a month. So that's $260 a year. If we sold them all in one year, that's $260 a year. If you divide that into the $86,000, it takes 27 and a half years just to break even on the service charge so at, the, you, at the current rate. Did you say the service charge is $10 a month or $10 a year? $10 a month per lot. Plus usage. So two sixty per month times oh. twelve months. Yep. Yep. It's that thirty three thousand dollars, right? Okay, because that's what I've got. I got uh, almost thirty three thousand dollars per lot. So the service fee per is, is twenty six two hundred sixty dollars a month times twelve months is thirty one hundred twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. So based on that, it gets me the twenty seven and a half years. That's a current rate. The rate we're charging everybody, and I don't care if it's that edition, Kate's edition, my edition. There's no money in there. We're at a break even at the best. Right now, the goal was not to lose more than 100000 this year. That's part of where this task force all come in to say where we at. And the task force is looking at there's some different avenues we might be able to do. We're, we're, we're still investigating that. All I was trying to do was I know that Bill Clausen's edition is coming up. I put a hold, not me, the board put a hold on this just so we don't get caught. With, I don't know how many lots Bill was going to do. Do you remember? How many? Was Eighty-six. It? Okay, just for the conversation, yeah. if we if we take three times Tom's, mm -hmm. we're looking at a quarter million dollars, and at the present rate, that's a quarter million dollars that's going to come out of the reserves, which gets us down about four hundred to five hundred thousand, give or take a little bit. We just tried to stop the press before this thing got so far in front of us that we can't control. It. And I knew this was going to spark a whole bunch of interest because I'm not trying to stop the developments. I'm trying to figure out a way to promote them, but at least break even or figure out a way to make this work. Different towns, they talked to Fairbank, and they said they do is they pay the uh, material, and the contractor and the developer pays the labor. That might be an option we could do. I just wanted to kind of stop this before we sign a contract with Bill, and we talk to him, and he has nothing in stone yet. He hasn't come to us with any firm and firm so we can go to our engineer to say what's it going to take to make this work. I just we kind of want to slow this down before they got so far out there we can't stop it. So I'm open for discussion to try to figure out if it's redoing potentially breaking a contract with Butler as an option and if that all doesn't work out then the next avenue is, is, is was the sales site. That's about the only two options you have. 
And just as an FYI, this is only setting the public hearing event, and Jeff just giving us additional information. So Correct, but there's first nothing I that... was glad that he would come here Absolutely. so we could kind of decide whether or not we wanted to have that provision in what we're doing, or whether, you know, my, my question in my mind is, is I'm reluctant to have it in a resolution, in an ordinance by the city, as opposed to at least HMEU making public to any developers, hey, uh, here's what it is, because they could do from their own policy perspective or come up with a pricing that is right. totally out of whack. <coughs> so that's, what, to other that's still what gets discussed at the public hearing, not tonight. Mm -hmm. All this yeah. is on the agenda Correct. is to set a public hearing. Right. Right. So there is no debating back and forth or even, Jeff, mm -hmm. you know, we appreciate, obviously, well, you come, I need mm -hmm. this information, right. mm -hmm. but this is just for us to think about and then go into mm -hmm. next week without this because. I 100% think changes are going to be need, made to this. They need to be made to this because, you know, just like we said, you can't put in here, we're going to put on hold any development because that's not what our goal is, obviously. Well, right. mm -hmm. But however we go about it, that's what the public hearing is for next mm -hmm. week, correct? Yeah. yeah. So we'd like feedback you, then as far as what changes right. to be made. But this is now, just an informational yep. thing right now, just yeah. so yeah. I don't get into a If you discussion. have suggestions on changes, just email get them to, to you. me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like Perfect. preferably way before the okay. Would be great. No, yes. so I would make the motion that we set the public hearing okay. for the next council okay. meeting. Second that motion. Be the eleventh. Yes. Okay. Any further discussion on it? Uh, roll call. Uh, Wyatt. Aye. Angle. Aye. Reister. Aye. Funds. Aye. Sibel. Aye. Five zero. Thanks, Jeff. Not a problem. You're the best. Uh, informational items. Wow. There's a number of them in there, four or five. Uh, reminder items, uh, regular scheduled meetings held at council chambers except electric board and library board. Uh, we're past the personnel committee meeting date. Uh, public safety, February 28th, 4 p.m. Public works, March 13th at 7 a.m. Mayor's task force, uh, March 19th at 5 p.m. Next council meetings, March 11th and March 25th at 6 p.m. Motion to adjourn. Move. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 I'd like the second queen tonight. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate it.